Okay, this project starts out with quarter sawn, or not quarter sawn, ripped sawn, white oak plywood. Uh, this being the good side. The other side is um, quarter sawn. So, um, this is my good face, obviously. And what I want to do here is, I want to get, I'm going to get the uh, two sides and two tops out of this sheet of plywood. So I'll rip it down. Um, my finished width is going to be 19 and 3 quarter. And um, the, the, the thing that I, I've been, you know, losing sleep over basically was how to treat this corner. Now originally, I was going to do it like this, have a have a butt joint with the top overlapping by or being uh, cut back to eighth of an inch thick and then having a small strip of uh, hardwood running that direction eighth inch by eighth inch. Um, I've since decided to just do a long miter cut and I'm hoping that I've got um, enough veneer here to to make uh, that look good. I guess I'll put it that way. You've got to have a when you do a long miter cut like that, you've got to have a nice tight um, clean joint. So I really got to take my time and set up that 45 degree miter. So the the um, height of the side is 23. Uh, the length of the top is 28 and then 23 again. So it's got to be 23, 28, 23. Um, and then like I said, 19 and 3 quarter wide. Now these, these sheets, I found only one square corner and that was down at this end down here. Uh, they're 48 and a half by 96 and a half, which to me tells me that um, they're planning on them not being uh, perfectly square. They're giving you some room to, to chew it up. So, but what I'm going to do is rip it. Um, I'm going to rip it about 21. Uh, yeah, 21. And then 21 again. I don't know that I'm going to be able even to use what's left over. So I don't know if there's any reason to, to not just waste it all. You know, right down the middle. And then, and then uh, do my three or four cut method and get, get the uh, final width. So I know that these two sides are perfectly parallel and then cut square. Okay, one last cut. I'm going to rotate it one more time. I'm going to use this edge on this one and this edge on the other. So they're both are going to get rotated 180 degrees here. Okay, time for some layout work. Good side up here. Um, I'll set up my sliding table. And then we'll take it from there. Alright, took me uh, three more attempts at it, but I was moving my fence probably a sixteenth of a turn each time. 
I was just looking at the uh, indentations on my knob here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you count the other part of it. So yeah, 16th of a turn each time. And now I've got it absolutely pair up flush in both directions here. I cannot do any better than that. All right. So, next operation. Okay, I just spent the last hour or so getting this set up uh, so that I get a good um, mate, you know, a 90 degree mate with a 40, well, with those long 45s. Uh, that, that part didn't take that long, but I wanted to make, what I wanted to make sure was when those veneers come together on that outside corner there, that, um, you know, it's, you get a good fit all the way down and you don't, you don't, uh, get any, 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 you know, I don't know what to call it trash you know on the on that corner you want a good tight corner so that that when that edge comes together it looks like the uh, waterfall you want it to be so I I think I've got my method down uh, the, the trick is going to be to um, get them cut get the bottom end bottom end of the sides squared and then reference off of that to make my 45 degree cut so that they're identically identical in length. And then the uh, top is going to have to just be cut, you know, both both uh, miters, and uh, and then hopefully it'll it'll go together. And, uh, coming off of this one. this way, got this marked I believe, yep.
All right, I like that edge. So I'm going to keep this edge, it's the number two edge. I'm going to lay out my mark on this one. All right, here we go. Got one shot at this. I was worried that taking that little bit off, I was going to get some chip out there, but I did not, so that's good. All right, there's top number one. That looks great. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to. Flip these over, match them up, lay out lines for my dominoes. Probably one, two, three, four, probably five. And then, uh, no, I don't need to do that yet. I need to figure out my lengths. So 23 inches. I've got to cut my sides to length first. goes over here. Bring my blade back to 90 and make my cuts. And then when I get that, I'll get that done and then we'll come back. <laughs> 